My, my, my. What have we got here? A little human. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. What on earth is a human doing all the way out into these forests? Hmm. You know it's incredibly dangerous out here. So why on earth would you want to travel to a place where you could die at any moment? A frail seeker, perchance? Uh, no, it couldn't possibly be. Maybe you were looking for my kind? You heard the legends and wanted to explore <laughs> as tall as trees. Hmm, as horrendous to look at as, well, you get the rest. But do I really look that horrendous? I've only ever come across a handful, literally, a handful of humans in my time. Which I think is quite a lot, seeing as my hands are pretty big, huh? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Come on then. Don't be afraid. I'm not like the legends. And I'm sure as hell not gonna eat you. I don't think that would really satisfy. Unless you really want me to. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I feel like you'd drown at my saliva if I had to lick you. Silent. <sighs> I do not want you to tell me why you're here. I would rather like to figure it out in my own little human. You do look very fascinating to me. Well, I've been around for hundreds of, hundreds of years, just like these trees. <sighs> we don't really change. We blend in pretty well. Mm. We're very strong beings. I just hope that you can understand that I don't think I can let you go back home now that you saw me. <laughs> well, if I let you go back home, you might bring back others. And I don't want everyone knowing the legends are true now, huh? Well, within legend there is always lie. <laughs> mm. You seem very curious. It's strange, isn't it? Walking on my hands. <laughs> You're very adorable. Little human. Now then, I think I'm going to call it quits on the guessing. Why on earth are you out here? What brings you to these parts of the forests? Is it the trees? Because they're so strange. The rocks that crumble like trees. The thing is, is that they used to be. There's many mysterious things that not many humans know about. Over time, you discover it. <laughs> but we take up so much of the land that it's difficult to discover. Do you understand what I'm saying? Good. I can't allow your kind to figure out what we are. Who we are. If we're really real. That wouldn't be so good now, would it? <laughs> They'd hunt us down. We are freaks to your society. But if you choose, <laughs> no, I shouldn't. If you choose to stay, you can be my little pet. I'll keep you forever. I'll show you what we actually are. <laughs> I'll take good care of you, I promise. 
All you have to do is say yes. It's either that or you die. So there isn't really much of an option unless you're, it's death that you crave. I mean, maybe you do have a death wish. You came all this way. You were looking for something. There's no human in the right mind that would come all the way out here. There's no reason to. <sighs> so what on earth is it that you actually want? Because you could stay forever. You'd never have to leave. You could truly explore the world. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, but the world is truly beautiful from over here. It's incredible. Hmm. It's surprising that you're not frightened for heights, are you? I feel like you might be a little bit frightened of heights. If I had to, what? <laughs> if I had to drop you, huh? Oh, silly me. You're like a marble. If I dropped you, I might not be able to catch you in time. <laughs> Am I really willing to risk it? Hmm, I don't know. I couldn't drop you. If I couldn't find you, what if I stepped on you? That wouldn't be so good now, would it? <laughs> well, if I step on you, I'll break every little bone in that little body of yours. And then you'll be pretty much nothing but sludge on the ground. <sighs> You're very difficult to hear, I'm not gonna lie. But I think it's because you're so small. <sighs> it's okay. I can make it out a little. Big ears and all. It's peaceful up here, isn't it? All you can hear is the trees, the wind, the crickets. Uh, the chiming of the wind. It feels so empty up here. It's like a hollow space. You can hear music from miles. It's beautiful. But then again, I've never really lived another way. So I could not tell you what it's like to be in your shoes. So tell me, human, what is it like to be you? To be able to fit into all those little tiny little buildings. You're like ants. <laughs> oh, there's millions of you. So, tell me. Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. That is very interesting. <sighs> Do you like the human world? The world that you have lived in for so long? Do you like the people that are around you every day that you surround yourself with? Hmm. Interesting. Sometimes I wish I could be similar to what you are. Walk in your shoes, I suppose you could say. But that's a dream I'll never get the opportunity to live out or play out. Whatever you would like to put it down to. This is a very lonesome life. There's not many of our kind left. The ones that are left are usually brutes. Not intelligent. Well, uh, there's book smarts and then there's... Uh, 
Why is my English so good, huh? He got on. <laughs> You're not the only human I used to be friends with. A long time ago, there was a little girl I came across. She was the sweetest little thing in the world. She hated the back, the life back there. People were cruel. They were not very nice. She came out here to take her own life. And then she found me. I gave her a life worth living. Some ways you could be the same. I held her hand. Well, in the way I could. <laughs> but she taught me how to read. Very loud speaker. She had a loud voice. That's what I liked about her the most. And very good pronunciation. <laughs> but she taught me everything I know when it comes to humans and the studies of intelligence of humans. It kind of changed my way of thinking. That's kind of what sets me aside from the rest of the others here. They all crave to destroy and destruction. I don't. I never really had that in me. She said I was something along of a angel, a guardian angel, or kind hearted. <laughs> but really, I think that's myth. I can be cruel or a beast whenever I need to be. <sighs> or a predator. That would be a more fitting word. Yes, little human. Hmm. Do you want me to put you down? Mm, I don't think so. Why on earth would I want to put you down? <laughs> I told you, you only had two options. You're mine now, whether you like it or not. And if you choose to leave, you can jump right off my hand. We'll see if you land the fall. <laughs> what is there really to get back to? A world of people that don't really care about you? Where everyone is trying to grab what they can and run with it? You live in a society where everyone is trying to take each other down. So, let me lift you up, little one. <laughs> I bet you'd be a good little human for me. <sighs> and I'll consider... Hmm. Letting you right in my head. I mean, I have very fluffy hair. When I've last experienced, humans like fluffy things, right? It satisfies them. <laughs> Is that a no? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I could always just eat you if you really want to play that game. Gobble you right up. How would that feel? If I gobbled you right up, does that scare you? Huh? <laughs> Little human. These are so fragile. So breakable. I just have to shake my hand like that and you're already... <laughs> See? My point proven exactly. You fall. Like it's nothing. <sighs> Where do you think you're going? Set. Good. You're not leaving. Not right now. I haven't showed you the best part of this forest. Come with me. How would I take you to my home? Really show you what a, this place has to offer. And if you choose to jump, you choose to jump. And if you land, I'll let you live. If you don't, <laughs> well, I think you already know the rules. 
Are you going to be my good little pet? Good. So well behaved. I'm impressed. If you behave yourself more, I'll make sure to give you a world of pleasures. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to cover my hands up now. I can't allow you to see where we're going. Close your eyes. It will be okay. I promise. <laughs> Shh. There's no need to be afraid. Are you afraid of the dark, little pet? Don't worry. You should never be afraid of the dark. The dark is just waiting for the light to shine through. <laughs> Trying to claw your way out between my hands is never going to work. So, sit tight and be quiet. If the others hear you, they will kill you. I can't save you then. <sighs> That's a good little pet. Now that we have an understanding, how about we go? <laughs> Just sit tight, little pet. And when we get there, you might be a little bit more appreciative about what's surrounding you. Hmm. I said, sit tight, little pet. 